So one of the most fascinating things Garmin offers is its VO2 max calculations and you would be very happy when you see your VO2 max going up and rather upset if it goes down and also not willing to see if it uh, stacks at one level and continues like that without any improvement. And so it was a fascinating story when we went uh, up hills uh, for uh, some altitude training and the Strava KOM chasing at the altitude. <sighs> And uh, we did the training there for two days and we went uh, all out for the uh, Strava KOM efforts. Day two, attempt number two. And uh, at that time Garmin had reduced and uh, downgraded our VO2 max uh, by quite a significant margin. And mine went down from 62 to 59, which you will see somewhere here. And Alina's went down from 64 to 60. And that's a significant reduction in VO2 max. I'm pretty sure that our performance uh, did not go down at all, of course. And so the thing is that Garmin is not quite accurate or is not taking into account when you go up a hill or you go down the hill. As you can also see that in the performance condition in the Garmin's Connect, or you can also alternatively set it up on your Garmin watch and monitor it while you are running. And if you see the performance condition above the baseline, that means that your, your VO2 max is improving. And if you see that below, then it's uh, reducing. And so it often is uh, obvious that uh, when some part of your run, which is more than six minutes uh, as minimum, as the six minutes is required for the Garmin to determine your performance condition. And so if you go uh, long enough uh, up a hill, then, this, then the Garmin would uh, reduce your performance condition as uh, obviously it's not taking this into account. And so if you continue with these uphill runs for a significant amount of time, then eventually Garmin would reduce your view to max. And so this obviously also happened there at the altitude and not only the uphill runs, which we performed at our full effort, but also the altitude was the determining factor why Garmin would decided to downgrade our VO2 maxes. And so if you want to stay happy and to see your VO2 max number stable or at least not uh, being decreased uh, by the error, then there is a walkaround. So if you go to your uh, settings and uh, you find the performance condition and turn it off. Or alternatively, you can use the trail run as an option if you're going up a hill and you don't want to see your VO2 max uh, reducing, then you can go into the settings and uh, record VO2 max and you would want to disable that. And uh, then you can use these uh, settings for the uphill runs and this uh, then your attempt will not be uh, measured against uh, the VO2 max. Uh, also, I will show you that uh, we were using the latest Garmin's uh, software, which is 18.14 and so uh, Strava is able to take into account when you run up a hill uh, with the incline with its uh, gap pace and uh, also if you go down a hill it would uh, recalculate your gap pace which corresponds to as if you were running on a flat surface so that you can operate with this pace and uh, obviously if you need to take into account uh, the uh, calculations uh, for the view to max then the gap pace would be taken into account uh, i think that's a pretty simple thing uh, also if you use the street foot pot then uh, the uh, power which is being generated if you go up a hill of course is uh, recalculated uh, as the uh, street uh, senses the uh, incline or decline and uh, it recalculates the power accordingly and uh, the power number is always valid uh, and it's taking into account the uh, elevation change and the wind. Of course uh, you cannot ask uh, the Garmin to take into account the wind as obviously uh, you would need uh, one extra sensor and uh, it's quite uh, challenging to put that onto a watch and uh, the foot pot is, a, is obviously an ideal uh, sensor for that and uh, but uh, why not to uh, make uh, required adjustments to the other algorithms so that uh, the incline is taken into account. So Garmin, it's uh, quite a simple solution and it's worth considering. Thanks for watching.